A show of support as one of the officers shot last night in the South Bronx was released from the hospital this afternoon. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was there, and she has more tonight from Lincoln Hospital. Officers lined the path from the hospital door to the van, taking Officer Patrick Espo at home. Flanked by his wife, he initially left in a wheelchair, but stood up to walk the rest of the way. How are you feeling? Good. All right. The wound on his nose where he was shot, small. We're told the bullet went through his nose and exited out of the side of his head. Earlier, Commissioner Bratton was at the hospital. He tweeted these pictures with Espo. 29 year old Eswood and 24 year old officer Diara Cruz, who was shot in the stomach, were struck at the Melrose houses at East 156th Street in the Bronx last night around 8 o'clock. The housing officers were on patrol. That's when investigators say they were fired at close range by 23 year old Malik Chavez of the Bronx. Police say Chavez and two other men were inside to allegedly buy marijuana. According to one of the men, Chavez announced he was robbing the other two. As this was happening, four uniformed officers encountered the men. One of the men took off. Police asked Chavez and the remaining man for ID. That is when Chavez opened fire, they say. Espoit was hit in the face and Cruz in her stomach below her bulletproof vest. Officers returned fire but missed. Chavez then ran into an apartment and told the occupant, quote, I shot that blank cop. I ain't going back. He asked the occupant to kill him. When he refused, Chavez shot himself in the head and died. Outside the hospital this afternoon, PBA President Pat Lynch talked about the dangers of the vertical patrol and having rookies do it. There's a staffing problem. We can keep saying we're going to put senior police officers with every newer police officer, but we don't have that staffing. As for Officer Cruz, Lynch says she underwent surgery here at Lincoln Hospital and is expected to be okay. He says she'll be here for at least a few more days, but he doesn't have an exact timeline for her release. We're outside of Lincoln Hospital in the South Bronx. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.